inspire others. Hi, film eaters. In this episode, we're going to talk about track settings and blend modes. We should have an existing project with at least one video track in order to start our tutorial. As you can see, each video track has four buttons available on the left side. The first one is the sound button. It will allow you to mute or unmute the entire track. The following button will allow you to show or hide the track from your composition. Keep in mind that if you hide a track, it can still preserve its sound unless you also mute it. Now it's time for the background color button. When you tap on this button, a color selector will appear that will allow you to set a background color for your track. How this background color works Once you set a background color of a track, this will be working in different ways depending on your settings. If your clip size fits in a smaller size than the main composition, the gaps will be filled with the background color. When we have multiple video tracks, the default background color of the main scene will be the color of the last video track inserted, which is the one that is sitting at the bottom of your timeline. Also, the background color won't be visible if the track is hidden. Before we talk about one more aspect of the background colors, let's move to the last button of the track settings, since they will be related. This button configures the blending mode of the track. In other words, this is how the track will blend with the tracks that are sitting below. There is a large list of blend modes available. You can see immediately how the different blend modes modify the final result by switching between them. If there is no track below, the track will blend with its background color. But also, if there is a track below but this track is empty, the selected track will blend with the below track background color. Finally, when we select a track from the timeline, two options will show on the bottom bar. The first option will remove the track, and the second one will duplicate it into a new one, carrying on the same clips and configurations. And that's all for today. If this video was helpful to you, please show your love with a like or leave us a comment. We'd love to hear about your experience. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also tap on the bell so you will know when we upload a new amazing tutorial. See you on the next video.